Hey, Taser with the baby in his hand, boy. After a viral video showed Westland police tasing a man who was holding a baby, another Westland man has come forward with a similar story. That man claiming police showed up at his home in the middle of the night and used a taser on him. Mar McDonald is live at the Westland Police Department tonight. Mara, there's video of this incident. There is video, Kimberly. There is video and there's audio. However, realize that Westland PD do not have body cameras. In this case, those body cameras would have really cleared up many things. The chief told me that even before this incident happened, they were in the process of getting them. They should be here soon. It was this video of Ray Brown being tasered by the Westland police while holding a baby that had Jerry Shingles turn off the TV, pick up a phone, and call the lawyer handling the case because Jerry found himself tasered. There were two prongs, one here, one here. By the Westland PD, which was captured on officers' body mics. And dragged off his porch at 2.30 in the morning. 2.30 roughly in the morning. Uh, here banging on the doors. Jerry had fallen asleep with his five-year-old daughter Amira while watching a frozen DVD. Westland police were there looking for Jerry's father, who was not there. Jerry had told him to leave days prior to this because his father has a drug problem. I put him out a few days ago, changed the locks, and they proceeded to ask me, um, do you know where he is? I said, no, um, maybe, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. You know, have a phone number? I gave him a phone number that I had. The dash cam from the police car only shows a portion of the porch, but it does have full audio. And Jerry answers their questions. Uh, you don't know where he's staying at? And gives them the phone number. You got a phone number or something? Until they ask to come inside without a warrant. And they asked if they can come in. And I said, I'd rather not. It was late. I'd rather not. My daughter's in her sleep. No, I'd rather not. That's when police run Jerry's particulars. He's already told them. What's your warrant for? He has traffic warrants. Traffic All misdemeanors. She has multiple warrants. She does have one out of West Land for 10,000. All right, so turn around quick. Put hands the other end back. They then tell him they're arresting him, and then... The dash cam video shows very little of the scene because of the way the car was positioned. But the corner you can see shows no struggle or urgency. Shingle says he wasn't resisting. Westland's police chief Jeff Jedrasek declined an on-camera interview, but did say Jerry never filed a complaint over what happened that night. And the first he heard there was an issue is when I called him. They're reviewing the tape. Back here live, Shingle says that after he spent his night in jail, and this starts to weave its way through the legal process, that he is offered a deal. We will dismiss all the charges against you if you will sign a waiver saying you will never sue Westland or Westland PD. Shingles declined. Kimberly, Devin, back to you. So, Mara, has he filed a lawsuit against the department? He has not. He has to go through the legal process now of fighting those charges of resisting and obstructing that he was slapped with over this whole incident. Uh, he has, however, uh, retained counsel. The same attorney, Greg Roll, who is handling the Ray Brown case, has now picked up this case. So let's see what happens in court. And uh, don't be surprised if you see civil litigation coming shortly. Yeah. Back more, to you. More to come. All right, Mara.